so this is staircase math, right? And um, we kind of need to know a couple things. We're always working with a little bit of a hypothetical on this. So stairs are typically between, we have what's called a rise, whoops, a rise and a run. So the rise is the vertical, and the run is the, the length of the, the tread. So this is also a tread. Okay? And the rise is the stair step height itself. And typically we have sort of like somewhere between 7 to 8 inch rise per step, and somewhere between 10 to 11 inch tread. Okay? Typicals. Can you have seven and a half to ten and three quarters? Yeah. You know? Sure. Okay? Sure you can. But anyway, those are typical ranges. Alright? Uh, it's not an absolute rocket uh, fixed number. If we go to middle of campus, center of campus, those stairs that are rising up are really long treads. They're like 12 or 13 inch treads, and they're only like a 5 inch rise or 6 inch rise. Um, so that's why they're so slow in the progression. Aren't they made for like, I guess for like cars to go up and down? I don't know. I've never seen a car go up it, so. But, um, that's what I heard. I was like, well, that's awesome. I don't know. That's what I heard, yeah. Uh, you know, maybe that's... All right, so stair, tread, and rise. So first thing you want to know is how long or how high are you trying to go, right? So if we draw it kind of like this, you know, this is uh, our ground level, GL, ground level, and this is our floor level, you know, second floor, okay? And in our, in our example, we've been doing 12 feet, but what if it was 11 feet? What if it was 11 feet instead, right? So let's just do that, 11 feet this time. Just so you get, you know, you can play around with the numbers all day long. It's fun. It's, it makes no difference. So the first thing is we have to get our, we need to, we need to know, so this is our rise, right? The 11 foot rise. That's the overall rise. And the question here is, how long is the run? We don't know. But how much, how many feet are we going to need for the run? Well, let's say we use seven and a half inch rises this time. Seven and a half inch, typical rise of seven and a half inches. So how do we how do we use a seven and a half inch rise and get that into an eleven foot um, total total rise right to an eleven foot loft? So first thing I'm going to do is take eleven feet times twelve inches per foot, right? I'm terrible with my math these days. So that's 132 inches, right? That's the total rise is, in other words, 132 inches. And now I'm going to divide that by 7.5 inches, which is each individual tread, right? So this is the rise, and this is the, tre the, the, in the step, each individual step. No, you could use eight, you could use seven, you could even use six and a half, six and three quarters. You could say, well, this is my target step height, right? You can use it that, you can use your number that way. Make sense? All right, so 132 inches divided by 7.5. I'm just using a hypothetical. Well, that comes out to be 17.6. Well, I can't put a 0 0.6, a six-tenth of a step in there. Make sense? So if I just drop that six tenths, I'll get 17 steps, or, or I round it up to 18, 18 steps, okay? 
So one way or another, if I drop it, then it, it goes up from 7.5 inch rise to like 7.6 inch rise per step. And if I drop the 6 tenths, then I get uh, slightly less than 7.5 inches per rise. Does that make sense? You guys follow that? So 17 or 18 steps. So this time, let's just do, say, 17 steps will mean that the 7.5 is now, if I take my... If I take my 132 inches, divide that by 17 evenly, I get 7, sorry, 7.76 inches, which is really 7 and 3 quarter inches per step. Make sense? Okay. So now the question is, so that's the rise, each step rise, per step, I'll be more clear, per step rise, okay? So now the question is, is how does that translate over here to our run? Well, I know, I'm, I'm only, I know that I have 17 steps, and now the question is, how long of a tread, how long of a tread do you want to use? Do you want a 10 foot step? Do you want a 10 and a half inch step? the tread length itself. You want it to be 11 inches, right? Sometimes you have a fixed dimension here. You have a fixed length that you have to work with. Does that make sense? There's a doorway, and you have to get your staircase to end before this doorway here. Sometimes you don't. In your floor plan, you don't have too many constraints. Does that make sense? So sometimes you're working with a very specific length here that you have to work with. But if I just take 17 steps times 17 times, uh, let's just say, an average step of 10 and a half or 10.5, then I will get a certain number, clear, 10.5 times 100, oops, 10.5 times 17 is equal to 178.5 inches. And I'll divide that by 12. Divide by 12 is equal to 14.875 feet. 0.875 is 7 eighths of a foot. 14 and 7 eighths of a foot. I don't know what 7 eighths of a foot is. I'll just round this off to 15 feet. Make sense? So I'm going to use 15 feet here. Okay? Does that make sense? And now you've got your staircase map. 